this is similar to your section 1.3 homework number 9 for solving application involving average rate of change for math 261. The graph shows the number of trips taken annually on a certain state's mass transportation system. Find the average rate of change of the number of trips from 1992 to 1995. Guys, right, so it's a lot of work. Right, hold on a second. So let me let me label these x-axis or the horizontal axis. So this must be 1993, 1995. So the first thing they want us to do is find the average rate of change from this point right here to this point down here. Average rate of change is the slope of a slope of a line, right? Or maybe blue is not a good color. Hold on a second. So if you were to find a slope of this line that's going down from this point, to the point down here what will be the slope so that's the first thing they're asking and they said round to three decimal places as needed so it looks like we're doing this for um one two and three different um intervals so let me start with the 1992 to 1995 okay i like to write down order pairs i like to write down my Input variable um, in 1992, the number of trips taken on a certain state's mass transportation system was 8.8 .8 million. 8.8 .8 million. The unit is a million, so I'll just keep it that way. And the second point is 1995. And the trip taken was less than that. And we're expecting to get a negative slope, right? Because the line was going down from left to right. Let's do the average rate of change formula. That's going to be 7.4 minus 8.8. .8. I'm subtracting the y values, okay? Look, I'm subtracting this number minus this number. Okay, because the change in y is y, rise, right? Change in the output variable divided by, all right, and then the bottom of the fraction, I will subtract the x variables, or the time in this case, 1995 minus 1992. Okay. All right, what's that going to be? this calculator out let me erase a couple of these things it's too busy on my screen I'll type in a fraction bar and I will do 7.4 minus 8.8 .8, which will be a negative number divided by 1995 minus 1992 so it's negative zero point now how did they want us to round this round to three decimal places as needed so i have to say negative zero point four six i need one more number after this but the fourth number is bigger than five so let me round that up to seven so the answer is well it's a negative number which means the numbers were the number of trips were going down um by 0.467 millions per year same thing um for the next one i need to look at the year 1995 to 2000 i will need their y values so in 1995 there were 7.4 million trips 7.4 how about in 2000 in 2000 there were 9.4 million and as you can see this time the lines going up from left to right so we're expecting to get a positive slope okay so the y value was 9.4 
And let me double check. Yes. So if I set up the rate of change formula, I will subtract the y values, 9.4 minus 7.4, and put that on top, minus 7.4. And I'm going to divide this by the change in excess, which is 2,000 minus 1995. So in that five-year interval, how much did it go up by, right? 1995. And the average rate of change is what's the increase per year. So I'll go ahead and type this in now. I'll use this fraction format. I'll type in 9.4 minus 7.4. But in the bottom of the fraction, let's change that to 2,000. Okay. 2,000 minus 1995. And that came out to, that's too clean, you know, right? That is 0. 0.5. 4 million per year. Okay, so I'll write that down. The average rate of change from 1995 to 2000 is 0 0.4 million per year. I don't think we have to put two extra zero just because they said round to three decimal places. I think this, is, this was just fine. Okay, let's do the last one. How about the average rate of change from 1992? That's the first x coordinate to 1998. All right, I need to go and look at their uh, y values or the number of trips taken in those years. So for 1992, that number is 8.8 .8 million. 8.8. .8. For 1998, the number of trip is 8.9 million. 8.9 million. So, oh, sorry. So let's set up the average rate of change formula. I will have to subtract the y values or the, the number of trips and put that on the numerator. 8.9 minus 8.8 .8 over, and I need to figure out the difference in the years. I want you to do a I feel extra slow today. I've been stuck in I-95 traffic for hour and 30 minutes getting home today. All right, we're subtracting this number minus that number. So that will be 1998 minus 1992. We're about to get the answer. Numerator looks like it's going to be 0.1, but I'll just type the whole thing here. 8.9 minus 8.8. .8 divided by 1998 minus 1992. The answer is 0.0, and we have to be careful with rounding, 0 0.01, and I just need one more number after the decimal, right? Like one, one, two, three numbers after the decimal. So the next number is six, but I'm going to have to round that up to 7 because the number after that, the fourth number, is bigger than 5. Okay, you know, it gets so tricky with rounding because you know how Pearson is. If you mess up on the rounding, they're going to say, you missed it. Okay, so that is it for this example. I don't think this was too bad. It was a good review of slope formula. So you'll see this one on, on your section 1.3 homework, number 9. Okay, I'll come back and go over number 10 in another video.